Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are we doing? Instagram, Facebook. How did our day go? Okay. Um. How are we doing? Hi, Mr. Badu. Thanks for joining. Please let me know if you can hear me. So we show you on the right track. Yeah. How are we doing, Mr. Victor? <laughs> okay. Tonight's class is kind of. It's a crazy one. It's 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 a crazy one. Yeah. Um. Within the week, Mr. Badu sent me a message about uh, front it. <laughs> okay. It's good to know you're there. Mr. Victor, we are learning about sex enhancements with men. You know, over the years, or should I say, men nowadays can't go, can have sex, can have sex without, you know, sex enhancement. And we need to understand, you know, why do we need this? And is it okay? Even if it's okay, at what level, you know, at what level? Are we supposed to say no it's enough at what level do we abuse it at what level do we misuse it okay so that's why we're here tonight oh chinese but he's asking <laughs> okay so i've been able to do my research hi dayo how are you so i've been able to do my research and i actually have a whole lot in my head mm -hmm. about this enhancement mm -hmm. thing yeah now, for someone like me, and let me say over the years, or let me say as being a Nigerian, we have this mindset that when you say sex enhancement, you know, we have the herbs, we have the pills, we have the we have the, the drugs, the liquid, the cream, whatever it is. There's so many ways people do this, yeah? And most times when you hear anything sex enhancement, people just have the mindset that, ah, okay, well, it's this particular thing. I personally have the mindset that, it is a no no thing, yeah. It is um that was my mindset before. Mm -hmm. I want to say sex enhancement and I find it that you use it, I feel you're not man enough, you're not good enough. But then over the years I've come to realize that you um enhancing your sex with pills and with drugs, it's not all about trying to impress your babe, it's not all about trying to show that you are you're you're a man or you're a man or the fact that you want to show that you can go a number of hours sometimes men use this thing for medical reasons men use this thing for for different reasons yeah it is it, it only becomes a problem when that person uses it for a particular thing just to show that okay i can go on and on with sex and that person now decides to misuse it just because you want to prove a point or just because you want to show that yes you're a man and you can go as you know as long as you want okay so i have some things written down here which i would like to um read out yeah um there are different kinds of there are different kinds of um, sex enhancement um things that are being used now number one is this we need to understand if you have to use anything for your body if you have to use anything for sex you need to be sure that that thing is acceptable you need to be sure that that thing has been checked and has been approved medically for your body you know except uh, and and the, and the reason why i'm saying this is because most times um, as nigerians we go for herbs we go for leaves we go for so many things that we just mix in pop and we drink and uh, mix and um put in our food or our water or whatever and we take now these things this helps we do not know how it's been done this helps we do not know um the the side effect of it because the truth is there's nothing you're going to take that doesn't have a side effect of its own yeah so that's why i say if you're to use pills or if you're taking anything off the counter please go through it and make sure it's been approved make sure um that you go through the side effects of it because sometimes 
it becomes a problem when you overuse it and the side effects that show you okay now i'm going to give us a few um drugs or pills that have been approved that are, are certified as yes these are safe enhancers yeah we have viagra which is which is like the number one well-known drug which a whole lot of us have heard about i have actually never seen it before yeah but i've heard so much about it and how powerful it is and how so many men can do without it and, and all but the truth is this drug also is not just to help sex life it also helps you know um it also helps the dick you know it helps the penis which i'm going to go into details you know we have um another one called um spedra we have levitra we have cialis we have um um so then um so yeah these are the few i was able to get online these ones are the approved ones you know for sex enhancement and even if you have to use any of this you need to be sure that you get an approval from your doctor your doctor approves it before you don't just go off the counter to get it yeah that's what the problem is okay now why do men use sex enhancers why why do men go for pills why do men go for for herbs why why you know i've heard women say oh a man who doesn't use um, sex enhancer can't have sex because it's going to be boring in bed now the truth is most men go for these things not because they are scared of having sex now they do because of the fact that they feel okay they don't want to embarrass themselves you know nigerians or men naturally have a way of making mouth oh i can do this i can do that you hear a guy tell you mm, just try me out you know i can go two hours i can go three hours and all and at the end Maybe when it's time for sex, you find that you can't even do more than because of the anxiety, because of the fact that, oh, I'm going to have sex with her. And after like two, three minutes, <laughs> he's done. And you wonder, is that <laughs> Hi, hi, sweetie. Sweetie, how are you? <laughs> you know, because of that. So, yeah. So, poor sexual um, <laughs> performance can be a real concern to men. Men have issues with poor sexual performance. They all <laughs> want <laughs> men if you agree just let me know you all want to show that you're a man you all want to have sex with that babe or with, with that with, with your partner and you know keep her in bed or after sex she just can't stand she tries to stand and she falls back again or after sex she she tries to stand and her legs are wobbling or you know or she just slips off you know that's what you would like to so because of this men just want something you know for instance um a man sleeps with his wife and after like Five minutes, six minutes, he comes, and this keeps going on. It gets to a point, the woman definitely will not be interested in sex, because you can sleep with me, and two seconds you are off me, and I'm like, I've not even gotten to that level of orgasm. I've not even felt the orgasm. I've not even, you know, gotten gotten myself. Not talk of climbing the stairs of orgasm, and then you just come off me and tell me you ejaculate, and I'm like, are you okay? You know, it gets to a point I wouldn't even want to have sex with you i wouldn't even i wouldn't even be interested you know to have sex with you so because of that because of poor sexual um performance men actually have concerns and this really kills a whole lot of men and that's the reason why most men go into sex enhancing drugs yeah mm -hmm. yeah it says there are licensed medications to help improve, improve sexual lives yeah um it improves these these medications help improve erection um premature ejaculation it also helps in um delayed ejaculation yes this is another reason why men use sex enhancers they just don't want to ejaculate on time they want to satisfy they want to finish you know there's this thing they say you're about offer yalu you know they just want to you know finish the babe you know destroy everything you know the way you guys say it ah you know that kind of thing so because of this and they don't want to disappoint themselves you know after making out the mouth and they feel oh i'm going to finish you and then it's time for action and after five minutes the dick fails and ejaculates because he's really into it because he is he was because at that point he's really enjoying it so holding back would be a problem okay so that's why men go into sex enhancers so help them hold the ejaculation for a longer period so as to satisfy themselves as a man like okay yes i'm a man and also to show the, the partner that yes i'm putting back okay now 
there 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 are some there are some sex enhancers that, that are called off license enhancers these are the herbs um the, the health the illegal uh, pills and otherwise okay demolition squad <laughs> oh god man i know you guys just love, love to demolish everything and you just want to finish you know the babe which is really not good most times because by the time you are done you know you put, you put us in trouble you know you know and it's not good it's not good yeah so that's so that's it yeah okay yeah most times um we have we have factors there are factors that make people want to go into these things you know um people don't just decide one day that i need viagra to have sex especially for the married ones I'm talking about married ones to their wives now i'm not talking about young guys who want to show who want to who has gone to make mother that yeah i'm good no i'm talking about the married ones now yeah most times they do it basically because of factors behind what they can't really say you know there's this thing about sex yeah it is hard as a nigerian or as an african to come out and say okay i'm having sexual issues it is hard to go to your parents or it is hard to go to your friends and talk about sexual issues it is hard to go to the society and actually come out to talk about sex okay because they look at you like what is wrong with you you know what are you doing you are not portraying yourself well but then the truth is everybody goes behind your back yeah to go online to learn about sex everybody goes behind your back to either maybe you know, have people tell me oh sex guys why are you doing this you're a married woman you shouldn't be talking about sex it doesn't portray you well it doesn't and i'm like fine but then these same people go behind my back to watch my videos okay it is that bad so the truth about it is people do certain things for certain reasons okay yeah some people some people use sex because their sexual life is not satisfying see even as a man when you ejaculate on time you don't feel happy please let me know if i'm wrong man when you ejaculate on time you don't feel happy because you still want to pound you want to you want to turn her up you want to hold her down you want you know you just want to show your skills like yes i can do different positions but then because you just and there's something about it dick, dick, dick is so silly so the fact that he doesn't listen he has no ears he doesn't understand the dick stands when he wants to stand and he falls when he wants to fall it is not about your your feeling or all mm -mm. it doesn't work with your mind even when your man is saying no i'm not interested once the dick gets the, the attention it gets it stands it's that bad so it is so bad that people want to hold on men don't want to come on time don't want to ejaculate on time but then the dick doesn't even understand that what the dick is working on its own you know so because of this men go into sex enhancers yeah um now another thing we need to understand is you can have sex life issues but then you feel better when you are free to talk to your partner most times people are not they are not that free the communication level is so bad that they can't even explain to their partner or you know you have a partner who is not satisfying you in bed and you just can't open up you can't tell your partner okay your dick is small i'm not feeling it um you can't tell your partner that oh you come too quickly I, I, um, you can't tell your partner oh i've never had an orgasm i need to understand what i need to feel what an orgasm is you can't tell your partner that oh i didn't i don't feel you that much in bed and i need you to you know do more or you can't tell your partner that oh okay this is how i want to be fucked and you know and you're not doing it the right way that's i'm not feeling you you know these things are so important we need to learn to communicate we need to learn to open up why are you my partner when i can't talk to you why are you why are you in bed with me when i can't tell you how i feel about the sex we just had okay there is no point having sex when you know you won't be happy i've had so many married women tell me oh i have sex with my husband but then See, so let me run at you. I don't feel it, but then I just have to just make it feel. I don't have to mourn. I mean, it just make it feel good. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. I have a married woman who contacted me and said my husband's penis is too small, and over the years I've tried to hold on. Now I feel like cheating. I just want a big. I'm like, you don't have to get a big dick. You don't have to cheat on him. Yeah, the best thing you can do is let him know. You are not being satisfied mm, and the best mm, thing most of you mm, can do mm. if he can satisfy you then you have to find another way okay because i've also i have a client who's okay the, the husband is um he's he's not nigerian i'm not going to say where he is from he's not nigerian and his dick is like 
this small, yeah. If I'm exaggerating, yeah, it's this small, and I mean this small when it's sleeping. So when the dick is standing, it's not more than my finger. That is how bad the dick is. So it gets to a point. Um, she's married. They are married, and she can't just feel the dick inside of her. Okay, the max she can do is feel the dick on her clit or at the opening of her vagina. The dick doesn't go in because it's too small. But then she's married to him, so she can't leave him because the dick is small. So what did the guy do? You know, it's easier maybe because he's white, they were able to come, but it doesn't have to be about what you are, whether you are black or white. It's all about communication. Now, the guy knows that his dick is too small to penetrate into the wife. He knows that the dick is too small to give her satisfaction. So he went out and he bought different kinds of vibrators and dildos for her. I am telling you, she sent me pictures. I said, I'm like, are you kidding me? You know, now what do they, they use these things to rinse it? He knows that his dick can't do it. He knows that his dick is not long enough you know to satisfy her so he makes use of that now what he does he uses his dick to rub her clit to give her an orgasm okay so he's good at that orgasm is his power level now he's a specialty yeah he's good at that but even with that knowing that he can't satisfy her you know there's a difference in rubbing your dick on my clit and you inserting your dick in the vagina there are two different feelings now because he knows that she is not feeling he got her different kinds of vibrators and then you know because of that the sex life is as crazy as you can imagine their sex life is one of the best sex life i've ever heard about their sex life is one of the best sex life I've, I've ever you know come across because the truth is they they, they decided on time they knew where the problem was and they walked it they were not too holy about oh no what, what, what would people say oh no and um, your dick is not cheat on you no, she's not cheating, mm -hmm. even thinking about cheating she told him what it is and how it is and the girl got to understand he knew that yes he was she wasn't because you know when you pound the woman and she's not giving you that thing you want she's not making you feel like you're doing a good job then there's a problem you know so because of this they were able to get vibrator and what he does is once she gets an orgasm, he uses the vibrator on her, you know, knowing that his dick is too small to give her what she wants, okay? Another thing is, now, people that have been mindful, yeah, of, of relationship advice, nobody wants to go to the next person to say, oh, I have a problem, my dick is too small, what do I do, or, or I ejaculate, so, or, or um, my dick doesn't stand up on time, you know, those are the little things, but then the truth is, nobody wants to go to the other person to talk. Everybody's scared, everybody's been careful so that you don't laugh at them at the end, and that's a problem. People don't want to open up, okay? But then opening up will always make it easier for you because by opening up, you get a solution. But then the truth is, who are you going to open up to? Who are you going to speak to? And that's where the partner comes in. Speak to your partner, let your partner know how you feel about sex. If you're not enjoying your, your partner's, um, if you're not enjoying your partner's dick or vagina, let them know. You don't give me what I want. I'm not feeling you the way I want. And then you know it's as easy as that. You don't go pretending and mourning and shouting, knowing that you're not feeling anything. And you're like, mm. are you done? You know. And then he says you're smiling or you're like, no. Communicate with your partner. No. Okay, we just had sex. Yes. Or during sex, stop the sex. Your partner, no, I'm not feeling it. And you can't just say I don't know how people get to have sex and you're not feeling. You're pretending. Sex is a serious issue. It is something you need to enjoy. It is something that everyone don't get it. Trust me, everyone don't get it the way you do. Especially the way you are married, it's crazy because you have freedom to sex anytime, any day, anytime. Nobody tells you what to do, nobody tells you how to do it. Okay, so if you want to have that kind of partner that you know, oh yes, you're feeling it, then it has to do with communication. If you are not able to speak to your partner and tell your partner, this is how I feel or this is what I want, then it just won't really work. Okay. Yeah, so that is um now it is said that one out of ten men have a problem with sex. So imagine the number of men that would have sexual issues. One out of ten men have sexual issues. Okay, and this has to do with um erection dysfunction, this has to do with premature ejaculation, and this this one this I'm talking about is about what happens to them throughout their life okay most men don't find out on time 
most men find out maybe after they made a whole lot of noise like oh i'm good and then there's this thing about guys guys have a lot of telling themselves how good they are in bed oh i'm good oh i finished the babe and like you are feeling so good i think you are doing like, almost i think like you won't do it i didn't feel it you understand? Excuse me. So it's not about you telling yourself what you can do. It's not about you telling your partners or your friends how good you are in bed. Let your partner tell you how good you are in bed. You don't go praising yourself. It is less for somebody else to praise you. So it's as easy as that. When your partner can tell you, yes, thumbs up, yes, you did a good job, that's it. Then you know you can now make it. But when your partner isn't telling you that, sweetie, now the truth is, okay, here's this back. We're going to be talking about factors causing sex issues. Now the truth is, most people have sexual issues not because they want to. There are factors behind it, but you do not know. People just feel no, it's normal. No, it is not normal. Something is wrong. You can't just have you can't just have sexual issues when you are totally okay, when you don't have a problem. There are things that cause it, okay? Now physical side effect of drugs. Sometimes as women, you know, maybe during pregnancy, after pregnancy or anything, we have to take certain drugs, antibiotics and all. Sometimes these drugs have um, side effects mm. on us on how we feel you know our 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 emotions towards sex so that's why some women who are good in bed all of a sudden just are not interested in bed does not mean she's cheating on you does not mean you're not good <laughs> does not mean you're not good in bed but the truth is that the drug she's taking or the drug he is taking is having a side effect on him and that's affecting his sexual um, his sexual life okay so most times it is advised that before you take certain drugs, read, know about the side effects first so that you, know, you start feeling that way. You know, like, okay, this is the cause. And once you're done with the job, you can now help work your system or relax your system to get back, you know, to how it was before. Okay, yeah, we have related lifestyle issues, you know. These are choices, these are things you decide to do on your own, and this also sometimes affect your sexual life. It has to do with smoking, too much of alcohol, um, um, smoking too much of alcohol, recreational drugs, cocaine, cannabis, and all. No. I'm not in a position to say you know to smoke. I'm not in a position to say cocaine. But it just is sometimes and most times these things don't have control because they end up controlling you. Now, when they control you, they affect your sexual life. So mm -hmm. much alcohol. Mm -hmm. See, I've heard that sometimes for those guys who get drunk, sometimes you get drunk to this to the level that even your dick doesn't stand. Please guys, let me know if I'm right or wrong. Yeah. I've heard it that you get um, so drunk to this situation that your dick doesn't stand. At that point, it won't stand no matter what you do. Yeah. And sometimes when you get high, no. There are two different things. When you are drunk, the dick doesn't really stand. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When 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 you are drunk, okay. When you are drunk, mm -hmm. the dick doesn't stand. When you are totally drunk, please guys, let me if I'm right or wrong. And um and the other one is when you are high, not totally drunk, but you are kind of tipsy, the dick functions more. You know because it's like a sex enhancer when you take um too much um. Um, too much drink, yeah, too much beer or alcoholic drink. So let me know if I'm right or wrong. Now, another one is psychological, okay? You have anxiety, you have depression, you have trauma, uh, uh, you have trauma from sexual experience in the past. Now, some people have been raped, they've been, um, they've been molested, you know, and all these things come to play, which makes them hate sex, okay? Now, the truth is, don't just go judging people about oh I don't like sex something is wrong you need to I tell people before you can tell me you don't like sex there's something wrong okay for instance I got a call from someone yesterday from out of the country and he said his wife just doesn't like sex and as I said there is nobody who just doesn't like sex there's something wrong somewhere I can't speak to you you know you are not your wife let your wife call me then I'll ask her certain questions okay Mr. Bali said not sure about losing erection when you're drunk or it delays ejaculation at least that's my experience okay so i i i want to believe that um different men have different um experience to this okay because for you it delays ejaculation so which means your own way of enhancing your sexual life when you want to feel like you want to enhance it is you know getting a little bit tipsy or drunk 
which helps the linear equation will be fine. Good. So now we know that different people have different ways of reacting to things. Okay. Now I was talking about depression. When you are not happy, when you are depressed, when you are having issues, sex sometimes is the last thing on your mind. So at that point, when you are not happy with your partner and your partner is doing so much issues and you are having problems, and your partner wants to have sex, then there's a problem. You are not interested because all you have in your mind is of sex. You are not happy, so it just doesn't work that way. Okay. Another one is um um trauma. I was talking about um sexual um, abuse, you no know, rape, you know molestation. And, uh, growing up and all, all these things help, you know, it, it helps destroy your sex life on the long run because sometimes you're having sex and you're remembering what has happened, you're having sex and you're remembering being molested, you're remembering being raped, it takes, it kills the fire burning in you, it kills, it kills that, that joy of, oh, I want to have sex, oh, I can't wait to have sex, and then you get to that point and all you remember is the, the scene of what has happened and phew, all your feelings goes out okay so that's why i'm saying and i'm still key, and i'll continue to repeat it you need to communicate to your partner let your partner know everything about your sexual life yes fine i know some people say oh you don't have to see everything but if you know it's going to affect your sexual life you need to open up to your partner so your partner doesn't feel oh you don't like me or i'm not doing well it might not just be your partner it might be you but then you make your partner feel like he or she is not doing good enough or you make your partner feel like he or she is not good enough for you okay so that's why we need to communicate and speak and another thing is relationship problems you can't be having a problem with your partner and the next thing your partner wants to have sex and partner wants to love you know and and go down on him and give him a low job or you want your partner to give you head and all those also help you know reduce your sex life okay then we have the hormonal disorder this actually happens more in women okay our hormones tend to change as we grow you know, when you get pregnant, your hormones change. When you give birth, you know, all these things. Sometimes I've heard so many women tell me, So after my child, my sex life, I'm just not interested. I don't just feel the way I used to feel. And I'm like, Sometimes it could be your hormones. So most times I always refer first, then I always refer them first to their doctors. See your doctor and check out your hormones. Yeah, if there's any hormonal imbalance, then it could be corrected but if it's not that then we need to work on you personally how are you seeing your sex life how are you seeing your partner because it's not just about the bed it's not just about the sex it comes from mm -hmm. outside the bed it comes from outside the bedroom sex is not just oh undress kiss me no it comes from respect it comes from love it comes from the way you treat me the way you teach me food the way you serve me the way you talk to me the way you the way you answer me you know the way you see me all these things, you know, the kind of the kind of words you say to me, the kind of text you send to me, the kind of gifts you give to me, you know, all these things result and come together to give you a mind blowing sex life in bed. Okay, you can't insult me and call me stupid. You can't insult me and call me a fool, and you want me to go on you and give you a blowjob immediately. It doesn't work. So it, it's not just about the bed, it's not just about the bed, it's not just about the kissing and the romance and the fingering and the sucking and everything. No, it comes from outside the bedroom. People need to understand, sex starts from you. Sex, sex starts from respect, sex starts from how I see you, how I get to love you, how I, how I speak and understand you, how I get to communicate with you. When your communication is, is good, when your communication, when the foundation of your communication is great, when it's strong, trust me. The sex will, will be one of the best okay we also have uh, one of the factors of um, that causes sex issues also age we grow we are growing the way you had sex when you were um, 30 when you were 40 is not the same thing you're going to have sex when you're 50. it's not the same thing you're going to have sex when you're 60. sometimes the truth is this it's either you go higher you increase your sex life or it reduces so that's that's where age comes in if you work at it, you can be a better person. I, I'm telling, I tell people that for me, I feel the higher you grow in age, the better as I should be. Because growing, <laughs> growing, yeah, you already have an experience. You already know what sex is all about. So the way I have sex last year is not the same I want to have sex this year. I want a better sex life. I want a better knocking. I want a better mm -hmm. feeling. I want a better head okay if if i had um loads of orgasm last year i want loads of squirting this year okay 
it has to upgrade. Now, another thing, if I do um, loads of missionary last year or different types of missionary, I want to figure out another position, you know, another dog, another wheelbarrow, something different. Because variety in sex makes it better. Doing the same thing makes a sex life not worth it. Because you get tired of the same thing over and over, which is just normal. Now, it's said that 75% of men manage to reach orgasm. 75%. Which means the remaining 25 don't even bother. If 75 manage, okay? So, what are we talking about? It means men still have to do a whole lot of work. And if we are talking about 75% managing to reach um, orgasm, that's why most men really go into sex enhancement drugs, okay? Yeah, um, women for women it is even worse because only 29 to 35 percent of women get orgasm in a lifetime. You know, I posted something um, some weeks back, I think a week or two, where a woman who has been married for 10 years called me up to tell me for the first time now I understand what orgasm means. And I'm like, What have you been doing? You have four kids, you make love every time. Her sex life is great, trust me, but she just didn't know orgasm. Means. The man just didn't know, you know. But yeah, it's good. Yeah, we we're able to talk, and I made her realize that there's something called orgasm. I spoke to the husband, and there she got one. And she called, and she was so crazy about the phone. Yeah, so it, it, it goes along with when people get fulfilled during sex, it's not just about the fucking, it goes beyond fucking. It, it's not just about squeezing of boobs, it goes beyond squeezing. It's not about um, fingering my, 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 the clit or touching the boobs or romance, it goes beyond that. How do you do it? How? What was the technique behind it? What? What's the movement for today? You know, how do you intend to touch my boobs? How do you intend to squeeze my boobs today? Is it normal way that you just put your hand and squeeze? And no, no, no. You need to do a whole lot of research. You need to learn more. You need to upgrade yourself. Okay. Now, it is said that Viagra is making loads of money. Now, let let me break it down. You know, I go online, yeah, even, let, let me just call Instagram only. There's so many adverts about sex enhancing drugs. And it's now moving away from drugs to herbs. There's so many herbs now. My issue is, I'm not saying don't use herbs. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying don't use herbs. But then, we don't even have an idea of what is being mixed. You don't know, you don't know the side effect of what you're taking. And then tomorrow, you not come and say, Oh, something is wrong with me or so I have I, I'm falling ill I'm doing this because most times you abuse this thing I hear people saying um, you know all these herbs they take all this ago yeah but they take by the roadside just to have it I'm, I'm trying to remember names now um, Dongo Yaro um, I know um, Olam they call the whole lot in the song yeah and um, the science students song. ah <laughs> please help me out I'm trying to remember the names of you know all these things that you men take okay? now these things help your sexual life it makes you go to three hours you know it makes you grind hard it makes you do a whole lot of things but then it gets to a point that if a man doesn't use doesn't take herbs if that man doesn't take um uh, the the dongo yaro if the man if these guys don't take these things there's some people who will tell me oh if i don't take alcohol i can't have sex okay because the truth is this when you overtake it you are no longer having sex why am i saying no longer having sex you are taking it for sex which means the day you don't take it your sex life is going to be crazy yeah it's going to be trash the great thing about sex life is have had sex because you feel sex have sex and enjoy sex not you taking a particular job to have sex which means the day you don't have that job or the day the job is not available you can have sex it's as easy as that okay so we need to understand that it's not just about taking in all these angles all these don't we are all these um uh, i'm trying to remember um science there's um Okay, I even can't remember. Okay, so the truth is, let us let us reduce the herbs we take. All these things that are being mixed, we have no idea. I heard a whole lot about um, tramadol being taken, um, 
codeine and all these things are being used to enhance sex lives and i wonder what happens to the day you don't take it then if if you have to live on a sex enhancer to have sex then there's something wrong with you men should be able to go around at least a minimum of a round without anything helping now you can now go two three rounds with the help of sex enhancers now i'm not saying it's bad to use sex enhancers yeah it is good once in a while you can do it you know if you want to be adventurous if you want to do crazy things if you want to go to a, a, if you want if you want to do more than you, you do a normal day okay now they are the viagra is viagra that okay so side effects of viagra um one of the side effects is shortness of breath it shortens your breath okay when overused it also helps irregular heartbeats so one is to be very careful now with time it helps with sudden hearing and vision loss those are part of the side effects of of these things now let me not give you the advantage it's not always about the bad thing there are always good things too okay it makes a dick bigger it makes your dick harder and it makes your dick stronger so it gives you a stronger erection, it gives you a bigger dick, it gives you a harder dick. Okay, so it's not just about the bad parts. Okay, so people mm. take these things not because they just want to have sex, because some take it because they want a bigger, stronger, and harder erection. Okay, now it's it's more durable. It helps um, your stamina during sex. Yeah, it helps make your stamina longer. It, it gives you a longer stamina during sex and a longer mm -hmm. erection during sex okay it also helps make it help make the penis thick and full for those of you who have small and uh, this is um, slim and mm -hmm. long and want it full and thicker i think the area will help you but then i'm not prescribing you need to see your doctor for him to tell you it's not my, it's not in my position to tell you okay now um okay i was saying it becomes thicker and fuller because mm -hmm. of the blood increase that goes there when you start taking your, um, your drugs your sex enhancing drugs the legal ones are not about the illegal ones I'm talking about the legal sex enhancing drugs it helps um, pump blood to your penis which makes it thicker and fuller okay it, and for women it helps boost um your libido or your sex drive for those women whose sex drive have dropped and you just don't you're not in the mood or maybe you have used a particular drug or antibiotics that has um that the side effect has worked on your your sex and um, sexual feeling yeah you could get a sex enhancing drug to help boost it back okay um another thing is it helps increase erection frequently which means you don't need to see a woman you don't need to be in the mood because you take this drug your dick can just stand by itself and at any point in time so you need to be very careful okay another thing is it gives you a healthier penis i'm just knowing that for the first time you're taking sexual enhancing drugs the legal one please i have said it over and over again strictly legal ones yeah when you take legal sexual enhancing drug it helps make your dick healthier and you know every woman on earth wants a healthy dick for their partner i do i don't know about you okay now it also helps give multiple orgasm okay then the greatest of all is it keeps you ready for another round immediately after sex you already agree with me that it's not really easy to go another round immediately after sex man please let me know if i'm right or wrong okay it's not really easy to go okay i guess i'm tired this night yeah we have to finish the sex, sex enhancing um topic we just have to finish because it's very important okay now it is it is not easy for a man's dick to stand immediately after sex am i right or wrong i need answers please let me know okay it is not easy for you to stand immediately after sex without a sex enhancing drug that's what um sex enhancing um, drugs does to you it helps enhance your dick immediately it stands immediately please men i need you to answer me i need to be sure yeah is it possible for your dick to stand immediately after ejaculating can you go another round immediately yes a healthy dick is a happy dick mr body just don't want to understand like 
that's life that's real life okay so as i was saying is it possible for you to have your dick stand immediately after sex for another round or it will take a few minutes because we need to understand the difference in what the sex enhancing drug does and what your dick can do okay mm -hmm. because it is said that most dicks don't stand immediately after sex it takes um some minutes or hours before they can stand all over again but with sex enhancing drugs, the moment you ejaculate your dick is on and ready to go again okay um there are certain things there's certain herbs that can be used that one can use for um, sexual um, enhancing ginseng is one of them it's it's a natural herb and it could be used but then i'm not sure we really have much um, the raw one here except the um, the one that has been produced into different things but the truth about sex enhancing drug it's not as if it's bad it's good it is good it helps the dick but then the bad thing is when you overuse it when you take overdose of it, when you, when you feel like I can't have sex without, um, I can't have sex without taking a pill, or I can't have sex. Then I read somewhere that it says that um, I think I wrote it somewhere. That it says that um, with sex, with, with with pills, you can go. Okay, it says with pills you can go two to three hours of sex. With pills, you can do two to three hours of sex, and without pills, that the normal after the normal percent um, minutes a couple spend on the average is ninety minutes, and I'm like, excuse me, that's what research says. It says most couple, the average they do is ninety minutes, which means most times maybe during your early morning sex, you know, most like early morning sex is some problem. All those adventurous kind of sex you just have to do and ejaculate and move on. It says that 10 minutes out of this 19 minutes is used for foreplay and the nine the remaining nine minutes is used for sex and they ejaculate and they move on you know this is for those who are yes mr uh, mr mr Bajo says it may lead to dependency yes that's a problem when you take something for too long those who takes um those who take all these um herbs those who take all this a bowl those who take the pills the legal and illegal with the codeine, the tramadol and everything, just because you want to have sex. Now, rely on something. Why would you rely on something to give you life? Why would you rely on something to make your sex life um, worth it? Okay, you can. I wish shouldn't be the problem to your sex life. You should have a way that okay, the day you take abu ah or afalu yeah, yes, you understand. But what about the days you don't take? Does that mean I should I shouldn't enjoy you? Because you are not on codeine, you're not on tramadol, or you have you're not taking a bowl that would give you um you know because the, another thing we need to understand is the more you use this thing, your body gets used to it, and it gets to a point that your body doesn't react to it again, and you have to move to something higher, and that's where the um, tramadol comes. I heard um they are, they have two fifty um grams or so, and people are taking two fifty, people are taking five hundred, you know because they get to a point. They don't feel it anymore when you start small you feel you feel your body gets sweet and your body is not reacting again and then you're great and then you're upgrade and then finally they run crazy okay all because they just want to have great sex all because they want to go to three hours yes you are free to go to three hours. who says you can't go to three hours to check it is normal but it is not normal for you to do it every day people want to do it every day they want to you know keep showing that they are good let me let me give her the, no it's not about doing it every day even if it's once in a month or once in two months that you can do three two three hours that memory alone will sustain her for a number of of weeks pending when she gets that kind of sex life again men need to understand that until you have sex without any any sex enhancing drugs or pills and your partner says you're good then you're good but when you have to rely on drugs, on pills, on health, my dear, I'm so sorry to tell you, you need to work on yourself because it's not all about the drugs, it's not all about the health. Okay. So on this note, I think we've come to yeah. Wow, we spent like an hour. Okay. So I want to say thank you to everyone who joined me. Thank you, Mr. Abadi, for the question um, within the week. 